Okay, in this lesson my students are going to use Georgia O'Keeffe as their inspiration uh, for their flower paintings. This is unit is a unit on monochromatic art and my students have been working on what is monochromatic and working with value and line and shape. Today what they're going to do is they're going to continue working on that. We're going to create some flowers and we're going to add color this time instead of just using black. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating tints. When you have white paint and you add a color to it, that's tinting. So we're going to talk about what is tinting, what is shading, adding black paint to a color would be a shade. So our students are going to learn to tint today, and they're going to create three tints of one color. And so it's still monochromatic. You do see that the final painting does have another color here, and we're going to add the word complementary color to our vocabulary today in class. And because not only are we going to do monochromatic flowers, but we're going to add a complementary color for the background. So first thing my students are going to do is we're going to look at some Georgia O'Keeffe flowers and we're going to talk about what are our rules are going to be when we draw our flower. Our rule is going to be that our flower is going to be off center. We're not going to put the middle of the flower right in the middle of the paper. The other rule is our petals, some of our petals are going to go off the page and we're going to make sure that, I guess those are our two rules, off the page nice and big. Oh, and that our flower is facing forward. We won't, don't want the side view of the flower. So here's my piece of paper. And I'm going to get my pencil. And what I often have my students do is go on to their iPads, Google flower images, and look up different flowers. And they can crop the picture that they find in order to get a different perspective if they want it off center a bit and then they'll use that flower to help them draw. So I'm going to draw my flower and I'm going to go off the page. That's going to be my rule. Off the page with the petals. Off the page. It's off center. I'm keeping it fairly simple. There we go. There's my flower. Now, my students are going to get a plate and we're going to put three piles of white paint and we're going to put our color and I've chosen violet for this and I'm going to talk to them about how to tint. So we're going to take on the first pile we want just a light violet. I'm going to take a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. I'm going to mix that with my white pile and then I get a very 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 light tinted violet. Okay then in my next pile and I can use the same brush because I'm using the same color for all of them. I'm going to add a little bit more and now I have a medium. I've got a light, add it a little bit more in that one and I have a medium. Now I'm going to need to add a little bit more into this pile to get a darker one again. So I'm going to have, when I actually finish, I'm going to end up having four different tints. I'm going to have a light, a medium, darker, and then I have the original color as well. There we go. So I'm going to move quickly here. So maybe on the middle I want to have some of the darker. So my students are going to go in and the rule is when they're painting I want to be able to see at least three of the different shades that they've got. So maybe they'll add some layering and some lighter in there. Okay. And then and maybe on my petals, I'm going to go a medium here. So I have a dark and a medium. And I'm going to pull out the color. But maybe I'll go in and add some darker coming from there. So the rule is for my students, maybe some lighter coming up the sides. They have to have at least three different shades in their flower, three different tints. If they can show me all four, that would be fantastic and I would keep working on that. Now, at this point when I finish my flower, 
and I have it all painted and all the petals painted, I'm going to move on to my complementary color. My students will use the color wheel to do that. So if I have a violet, the complementary color is the opposite. So the students will learn to go across the opposite and my complementary color for the violet will be yellow. So anywhere I have a background, I'm gonna go and paint that a bright yellow. So let's take a look at some of the samples that my students have done. Here's one here. Let's see if I can pull this up so I can, okay. So again, this is grade four. This one's quite beautiful. So different flowers too, depending on what picture they chose off the internet as their inspiration. And we're also looking at samples of Georgia O'Keeffe. And here's another one. Okay. Good luck with that. Hopefully your students will have a better understanding of value and how to tint their colors for monochromatic art. Thank you.